Hello and welcome to this instruction for the assembly of the insert of the Palaces of Carrara Deluxe Edition. So as you've received your box and open it up, you're going to find a bunch of things in there. The rule books, you'll find a little leaflet as well, um, the main game boards, and then you're going to start finding the punch boards. Now you're not going to need the smaller one for the uh, insert, but you are going to need all of the bigger ones. But this is very important. Keep all of your punch boards as you unpunch everything because they're going to go underneath the base of the insert later on in this video because we want to make sure that everything sits nice and flush as you assemble everything. So all of these punch boards uh, are going to be needed for this video and we are going to go a bit more into detail now. So you'll see that all of these uh, elements are labeled with letters. So we're gonna go with, start with A. You're gonna wanna find all of the pieces that are labeled A, A1, A2, A3, etc. And the reason for the numbering is that's gonna be the order in which you're going to assemble them. So we're gonna start, for instance, with A1 and you're gonna to wanna to unpunch all of the elements. You'll see that a lot of the trays in this game have a little roof as well. Uh, we're gonna go into that in a second. But yeah, the first thing you wanna do is find all the elements labeled A. You're gonna find end pieces. Uh, you're gonna find a separator piece as well uh, in the A uh, tray. And so yeah, just carefully unpunch everything, making sure that you have everything. Because there are these rooftop elements, there are these little lips, be careful to not damage them as you unpunch them. Uh, and so once you, you have all of the pieces ready, you're gonna want to start with the base one and remove the little pieces of cardboard that are here on the inside, like this. So once that is done, you're going to want to start and take the base and you will see that one part of the base is higher than the other. But the first thing you want to do is, if there is a separated piece like this, is start with a separated piece because this usually holds everything together. So you're going to want to click both sides of the tray like this. And this should already hold everything into place. And then you'll see that there's a certain direction. So you're going to want to match the illustrations in this case, uh, the monuments and the buildings, and you're going to want to slide them. So always pay attention, as you will see, there is a taller piece, a taller side and a shorter side, and you want to make sure that this fits perfectly like this. So once you go in, you're going to want to push it down like this. Again, be careful to not push on this part because it could damage the box. And then you're going to want to do the same on the other side. Technically, by the way, you, we, uh, you can also glue some of these elements. It's not a prerequisite, but it will make sure that everything is more solid. The rooftop, however, uh, that should never be glued down because obviously this is there just to keep everything into place. But you're going to see that, yeah, you just slide it this. And this is how almost all of the uh, trays are going to be assembled. So moving on, we have tray B. Uh, this one doesn't have a separated piece. It's one of the smaller um, parts, basically, of, of this insert. So you just have two end pieces, really, that you're going to want to use. Um, actually, don't do it like this exactly. You want to assemble it this way. So again, make sure that the tallest side is uh, aligned as well properly. Same with this one. And there you have it. So now you have the base ready and you're going to want to find the little roof part and slide it over, making sure everything fits perfectly like this. There you have it. Moving on to some of the uh, bigger trays. So you're going to see that there's a lot of separated pieces in this one. So Tracy has three of them. So as usual, uh, you're going to want to start with those. You just put them in the middle like this. And then the whole trick is to kind of push them down like this. The easiest is to actually pull them towards you, uh, like I'm doing here. You just gently pull it like this, and you do the same thing on the other side, like that. It should kind of click, and once this is done, you're never going to have to uh, open this up again. And as usual, the end pieces are going to go to the back and to the front of the tray like this and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Tracy also comes again with uh, like a rooftop element. So this will hold all of your um, coins in there like this. And there we have it for Tracy. 
3D is very similar. This will hold uh, all of the statues, so you're also going to have a separator piece. But you will see, though, that the end pieces are a bit different because they're actually bigger, uh, just because we need it to make them a bit more solid. This one will not actually have a little roof element. So you're going to want to start again with a separator piece in the middle. And then this is going to be a bit different. See, this one will fold, actually, and you want to make it... Uh, point towards the inside of the tray. You can also do it the other way around. Some people actually prefer having the illustrations more on the outside. That is really up to you. Uh, but you can do it this way. And same thing on the side for the golden statues that you're going to need. And there we have tray D ready. So now moving on, we have tray number E that will hold all of the decorations this time, as well as the royal visit marker. So this one is also an open tray. Uh, this one has three separators um, that you're going to place right here in the middle. So you should get the hang of this right now. You already know uh, what I'm probably about to tell you. But yeah, you're going to want to pull gently towards you, hold them down and then click like this. And you do the same thing on the other side. Uh, the two end pieces again fold uh, like this. And so you can have it indeed have the illustrations point inwards. You can do it again on the outside. That is really up to you, but we prefer doing it this way. And so same thing for the other side. There you have it. And you're almost very much done. There you go. And so finally, we have the uh, player uh, trays. So there will be four identical ones like this. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have uh, the, in this case, the colors match. So we're going to have two pieces that also hold a little rooftop. So this one again, uh, make sure you pay attention to the higher side of the insert because there's a higher and a lower side to the edges. So this one just holds simply together. Again, it's, it's up to you. You don't need to glue everything down. Uh, it can be helpful. But uh, again, when you put these end pieces, make sure you don't break the little lip that will hold the root part. So there you go. And then once it's done, there you go. You have your little player tray already. So once you've assembled one, you can assemble the three others and you should have everything ready. So moving on, um, as I said in the beginning of the video, you do want to keep all of your punch boards, um, except for the one that holds the wheel, because this will make sure that everything will sit very flush at the end. So what you do is you carefully remove the base like this, and then you put all of the punch boards at the bottom. And then the base just goes in again. You just push it gently down, and then you're going to be ready for the assembly. So we're going to start here with uh, trays D and E that go in there like this. They're open. Um, and then on top of that, you're going to have the player boards and the front of the player screen. So they go into that section of the insert. Then we have the other section, so you're going to have the coins and then the buildings and monuments, followed by the little there tray that holds all the improvement tiles. So you put it in like this. There you go. And then finally, you're going to have all of the player trays. They slide in there, so you put them actually in the other direction. Don't turn them in the same uh, way that you did here, so they kind of snug in there. So you do that for all four colors. There you go. And you'll see that there's a bit of space left above them because that is actually where the bag is going to go. So we have a cloth bag that contains all the, uh, the marble pieces. So you put that on there and then everything should be nice and snug. So, so when that is all done, the trays are in, you can, you're going to want to place uh, the wheelbase, possibly the, as well uh, as the smaller wheel here. Wheel um, and then you have both of the boards that go on top and then next to it you'll have actually the rooftop section uh, of the play screens as well as the bigger wheel that will fit and then you close it off with the rule books and there you have it that was the assembly for the palaces of carrara deluxe edition thanks so much for watching and enjoy the game